They say animals can tell a good guy from a bad guy. As you stared at the boy covered in blood and bruises, toying with the cat you've been feeding for weeks but still haven't been able to touch yet, you started to question that saying a little. Now, you were a good student. One of the best, in fact. Teachers adore you, and you were always the kid parents like to compare their own children to. The boy kneeling a few meters away from you, however, looked like the opposite. Now, you knew judging a book by its cover was wrong, but with Tokyo Manji Gang embroidered on the back of his jacket, it was obvious that he was a delinquent. Seeing the cat that bears its teeth every time you get too close show its stomach to a random delinquent, a feeling of jealousy sprouted from the pit of your stomach. That's a scary look on your face. You hadn't realized that the boy had already noticed your presence. It was his sudden remark that made you aware of just how tightly your brows were knitted and how blown up the sides of your cheeks were. <laughs> you look like a puffer fish, the boy laughed. Sh shut up! And, and who are you anyways? Like a lion whose territory got invaded, you were pissed. The boy pushed himself up from the ground, slowly dusting off the dirt on his pants. He wore a wide grin on his face. I'm Baji Keisuke from class 3. You're the kid who feeds this little guy during break time every day, right? You were taken aback by his closed eye smile. One that was completely genuine and pure, showing an innocence that didn't seem to match with his attire. Somehow though, it suited him. Without noticing, your cheeks began to burn. You felt a tight squeeze in your chest as your heart seemed to skip a beat. Baji Keisuke. Class 3? You slowly uttered his name, digesting the meaning behind his words. He seemed to know you, and from his self-introduction, you two go to the same school. His name does sound familiar. Oh. Experiencing a light bulb moment, you finally remembered where you heard the name Baji Keisuke. However, as the image of that glasses-wearing boy with slick back hair and completely buttoned-up dress shirt overlapped with the loose-haired boy with wild eyes and blood on his face, a look of disbelief settled on your face. Y you're that guy that's always with Matsuno-kun! Baji smiled, but he didn't answer your question. Instead, he glanced at the bag of cat food you had in your hands and said, <laughs> You're a good fella. Eh? Not giving you the time to recover from your shock, he gave you a pat on the shoulder and walked right past you. You turned around slowly and stiffly, eyes following the boy who walked away with his hands in his pockets. Eh? You still had trouble believing that this delinquent is the same person as that nerdy looking kid from class 3. One fateful meeting is usually all it takes. Before that, you had nothing to do with one another. Although he dressed kind of funny, you never paid him much attention in school. Now, whenever you see him in the hallway, you can't help but think of that blood-covered delinquent playing with the stray cat. Hey, honor student! He seemed to have taken a liking to you, because from that day on, he'd always greet you whenever he sees you. However, he didn't seem like he was particularly interested in you either, since he didn't even bother to learn your name. You thought whatever link you two had would eventually fade out, for you didn't want to get involved with delinquents. Fate, on the other hand, just loved to toy with you. Hey, honor student. A voice interrupted you while you were drinking your strawberry milk during lunch. You looked up to find a familiar thick framed fake glasses and smooth, slicked back hair. It was none other than Baji Keisuke. Behind Baji stood your classmate, Matsuno Chifuyu. Your body tensed up, the milk held in your mouth unable to swallow. Help me study! He held up a piece of paper which you recognized as the mock exam from last week. There was a number written in red on the top right corner. Upon seeing the number, the milk you held in your mouth sprayed all over Baji and Chifuyu. You coughed violently due to the choking sensation. <laughs> Five points? It was your first time seeing single digits on a test. Oh, oh shit. You looked up at Baji and Chifuyu, suddenly realizing that they were covered in strawberry milk that came straight out of your mouth. As you recalled Baji in his gang uniform, hair down and covered in blood, your face turned 
blue. I'm dead. The anger on Shifuya's face was obvious. You bat! He you closed your eyes in fear as the blonde held his fist up in the air. But to your surprise, the impact never came. You slowly opened your eyes to see Baji holding a hand up, signaling Chifuyu to back up. You watched as he silently removed his dirty glasses, wiping the liquid off with the edge of his blazer, seemingly not bothered at all. Then he put the glasses back on, his lips curling upward, showing his sharp and somewhat cute looking fangs. <laughs> so you gonna teach me or not? What was said in a lighthearted tone somehow sounded like a threat in your ears, especially after how you spat milk all over him. It was impossible to refuse his request. Okay. And that was how you knelt nervously at the round table with two delinquents on either side. To your surprise, Baji and Chifuyu actually lived in the same neighborhood as you, a different apartment complex, but theirs was really close to your own. Uh, you're supposed to represent Y as an expression in relation to X, and you re replace that in the equation like this. Now you have a single variable equation. You showed Baji. Unbelievable. You thought, this guy can't even do 6th grade math. Oh, I see. That makes sense now. There was a sudden sparkle in Baji's eyes, a wide smile blossoming over his face like a little kid. Not bad, honor student. <laughs> You're an idiot. He sounds really cocky. You held the thought in as you rubbed the shoulder he just patted. Your eyes glanced towards the blonde boy on your other side. Compared to Baji, Jifuyu looked more like a delinquent at school, so you always wondered why he spoke in honorifics when talking to the nerdy looking boy from class 3. Of course, ever since you saw Baji in his gang uniform, you began to understand a little bit. When dressed properly, Baji looked 10 times scarier than Jifuyu. Um, Baji-kun? Huh? Baji tilted his head up a little, his eyes looking up at you. You gulped unconsciously for he looked extremely intimidating from that angle. And he sounded quite annoyed too, like he wasn't happy that you interrupted him from his studying. Uh, um, uh, why do you dress up like that at school? You brought out the courage to ask. Are you trying to hide the fact that you're a delinquent or something? Once Baji completely lifted his face up, the intimidating air around him was lifted, but he still had this haughty aura to him, this strange confidence that made people naturally end up speaking in honorifics when talking to him. I don't want to get held back again. And wearing glasses makes you smarter. Eh? For someone who spoke with such confidence, his words sounded unbelievably dumb. Of course, you didn't have the courage to point that out. To your surprise, despite believing in dumb myths and failing the mock exams, Baji was actually smarter than you thought. After you taught him how to solve a certain math problem, he was able to solve most of the similar problems. He was also good at retaining information. When you showed him the correct way of writing a certain kanji, he can just about remember it without having to go back and look at it again. Chifuyu wasn't as bad as Baji, but he also didn't do that well on the mock exam, so you helped him a bit as well. The three of you studied until the sun went down, and since Baji's mother was going to be home late, he treated you to some Peiyang Yakisoba, a brand of instant yakisoba, as thanks. Once you finished helping them with their homework and going over some test questions, you finally went home. Once you arrived home, your legs completely gave out. You were unsure whether it was out of exhaustion or relief. <sighs> I survived. You chuckled weakly. Ever since then, you somehow ended up as Baji and Chifuyu's private tutor. Unpaid, of course. You sat with him during lunch break to teach Baji the key points he couldn't understand during class. Despite how hardworking he seemed to be in class, you could tell he barely studied at home, especially on the days he came to school covered in bruises and bandages. He was still very far behind, but Baji didn't seem to mind. Um, baji -kun? Please don't get mad at me for saying this, but you should probably stop getting into fights so much. Huh? <laughs> you shrieked in fear as Baji and Chifuyu shot you glares simultaneously. However, seeing that neither of them were planning to raise fists, you continued. Uh, I mean, at this rate, you 
probably won't be able to do that well on the midterm exam. <clears throat> Will I fail? Baji asked. Well, I don't think you'll necessarily fail, but then that's fine. Eh? As long as I won't get held back again, it's fine. Uh, I, I see. <laughs> wow, such low expectation. Of course, you didn't forget about the stray cat behind the school. On the weekend, you brought some cat food, a clean blanket, and a plastic box. As always, the cat was attracted by the food, but refuses to get close to you. You sighed at the white and brown cat that was crouched under the bush a few meters away, glaring at you. Shaking your head helplessly, you took out the plastic mat from your bag. It's going to get cold soon, so you decided to build a shelter for it. While you hammered down the hooks into the ground to secure the plastic mat, you hadn't noticed that a tall figure was closing in from behind. What are you doing here on a weekend? Ah! You jumped as all the hair on your body stood. You whirled around to find Baji looking down at you. He let his hair down and ditched the glasses. He wore a simple gray t-shirt and black baggy knee-length shorts with worn-out gray sneakers, completely different from his nerdy attire at school. Oh my god. <sighs> you let out a sigh of relief, patting your chest to comfort your racing heart. You scared me. <laughs> Scaredy cat. Baji scoffed. I could ask you the same thing. Coming to school on a weekend isn't very delinquent-like. He returned Baji's original question back at him. Baji lifted the plastic bag in his hand and he eyed the cat, which was slowly making its way closer to the two of you. Your brows furrowed. That damn cat wouldn't even let me get close to it. And now it's coming straight for Baji? The long-haired boy squatted down next to you, his arm resting over his knees as he checked out your work. What's this? I'm building her a cat house, he said. Him. What? It's a him. Baji pointed to the cat who crouched down next to him, allowing the delinquent to scratch the back of his ears. How do you... You know what? Never mind. That's right. The cat wouldn't even let you get close to him, so there's no way you could have known his gender. Whereas that little rascal has flipped over on his back multiple times for Baji, so it's no surprise that Baji would have noticed whether or not it has anything between its legs. You didn't notice Baji staring at you while you continue building the nest, nor the smile on his lips. So, looks like you're finally not scared of me anymore. You stopped your hands, confused by his out of the blue statement, but you didn't realize just how close the two of you were until you turned your head. For the first time, you noticed how handsome he was. Unlike your other classmates, Baji seemed to have already lost his baby fat. Perhaps it's because all that fist fighting he does outside of school makes a great workout for him. His body is much taller and more muscular than his peers. There's this sharpness in his eyes that made it difficult to avert your gaze. He had a really nice, tall, straight, button-shaped nose. His fangs were a signature feature of his, and although you never admitted to this to anyone, you always found them cute, especially when he smiled. Who, 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 who says I'm s scared of you? Distracted by his good looks, the words you meant to say with confidence came out as a stutter. <laughs> Baji let out a loud snort, shoulders shaking as he chuckled. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> Feeling a little exposed, your cheeks became dusted by a dark shade of pink, and you turned away and pretended to fix your bangs to hide your embarrassment. At that moment, you failed to notice the softness in Baji's eyes as he gazed at you. After minutes of an unsettling silence between the two of you, Baji stood up and patted the dust off his knees. Hey, honor student. You looked up at him. I just want to let you know that I didn't mean to scare you. You're a great fella. You didn't understand where all this was coming from, but for once, you didn't see him as a delinquent anymore. At that moment, you realized that he too was just a teenager and he would also feel hurt if someone he was trying to befriend was scared of him. In the midst of your thoughts, he had already began to walk away. Suddenly, your legs shot up, and you called his name. It was as if you lost control of your body, and a question blurted out of your mouth before you could even think. Are we... friends? He turned around, his big, golden eyes gazing at you. Then, he smiled. It was a big, close-eyed smile that revealed those adorable fangs. 
Of course! You smiled. You didn't know why you felt relieved by his answer, but you did know that you were genuinely happy. Help me with my homework again, okay? He shouted before turning back around and heading off. Uh, of course! You watched him get on his bike and ride off. It was at that moment that a seed of love was planted into your heart. so much for listening to this story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just want to take this chance to thank all of you who have encouraged and supported me here on YouTube. I really enjoy making fanfiction headcanons, so it makes me really happy to see that people are enjoying my content. I know in the past, uh, I posted on my page saying I was working on a Bakugo Halloween fanfiction, but that ended up becoming much longer and more complicated than I originally meant for it to be, so I will need more time before that's ready to see the light of day. I hope you guys like this cute short story of how a listener fell in love with Baji, and I wish you guys a happy Halloween!